Hello, my dear fellow foreign English speakers. That's me, Robbie, of course, from EnglishHarmony.com. And today I wanted to make a point. I wanted to bring something to your attention, which might slightly change the way you look at yourself as a foreign English speaker. And it might provide you a little bit of comfort in situations when you don't understand what someone else tells you in English. It might be another foreign English speaker or a native speaker. It doesn't really matter and uh, first of all let me explain you what this is this whole thing is about you know let me give you a, an a exact example of what I'm talking about and then everything is going to become clear to you so this is what happened yesterday I went to work I walked into the into the workplace of mine I was on my own yesterday because uh, my colleague was out due to un unfortunate uh, circumstances you know so I started uh, taking care of my routine things at work and then I had to go to the office and I walked to the office and uh, our boss the director of the company but he is a very humble and uh, simple man he's not arrogant at all he would do any simple job around the place which needs to be taken care of you know and he was fixing the door in the office. It uh, has to be said, guys, that I work in a small, in a relatively small family-run business, so it's not a large corporation. I'm not a corporate slave. <laughs> I'm not uh, making money for a bunch of shareholders sitting in a boardroom and not taking care of their subordinates. You know, I'm uh, working in a small company. Everyone knows each other, and the and the atmosphere, the environment is very friendly and I love working there, you know. So basically he was fixing the door because the door handle was broken and uh, as I walked in I said good morning to everyone and he says, uh, do you need any work done? And you see, in that particular context, in that particular situation, I didn't really get what he was saying. Do you need any work done? You see, what he meant was, he was trying to make a joke, as if he's a handyman, you know, a handyman is any sort of a technician or a mechanic or whatever, you know, someone who would, uh, who would uh, come to your house and, and fix up simple things in the household or do things like that, you know, fix a door or change, uh, change a shattered window pane or whatever, you know, change a light bulb if you're incapable of doing so, you know. And uh, he says, uh, do you need any work done? And I, I didn't quite realize what he meant by that. I thought at first that he means, do I need any help with uh, taking care of my work duties because my colleague is out and I was on my own. And then I said, no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm uh, I'm managing it just fine, and he says, no, it need any work done. What he meant was, he, he was kind of making a joke about the fact that he's uh, fixing a door, he's doing a very simple job, and as if, he's, uh, as if he were a handyman, you know, someone that the company would, would ring up and he would call in and fix the door. So he was trying to make a joke about that, that as if he's a, a handyman and uh, fixing the door, and do I need anything similar to be done? Uh, to be done down in in my department, you know, and only if, uh, and then I said, <laughs> I said something along the lines of, uh, uh, I asked him, does he mean, can I do anything for him or whatever, you know, it, it got a bit confusing because I just, it's not for the fact that I wouldn't understand what he meant by the simple sentence, do you need any work done, you know, it's a, very simple sentence, very straightforward, do you need any work done? But I, I just didn't understand, I didn't catch the deeper meaning of it, you know. And only after three attempts on his part to, to make the joke, only then it registered with me, you know, it hammered home to me and then only I realized that he means 
do I need any work done of a similar nature? You know, it's a joke. And uh, it goes without saying that the joke was ruined because I didn't get it, you know. And uh, it was slightly embarrassing, but I just ignored it. I just brushed it off. I, I just laughed about it and uh, went about my daily business, you know. But I brought this small incident to your attention because it clearly depicts similar situations that might be happening in every foreign English speaker's lives. Basically, we mightn't get a small joke or something like that, you know, and then it might create an impression for ourselves that our English is bad. But it's not the case. Clearly, it's not the case. It's not about your English knowledge. I understood the sentence just fine. Do you need any work done? I, I just didn't understand the deeper meaning of it. So, my advice is, if you find yourself in similar situations, well, that wouldn't be probably happening too frequently, but anyway, if you find yourself in a situation like this, don't freak out, don't try, uh, well, not don't try, but try to tell yourself after that situation that your English is just fine, it's just that you didn't uh, uh, understand that particular thing, whether it was a joke, it was something out of ordinary, you know, and if something is not uh, something what you would expect it to be, then quite... Uh, Quite understandably, you might understand what that person means by saying that, you know. And even in my circumstance, as I walked in and he says, do you need any work done? It was the first time my boss said, said something like that to me. He would have never said anything like that, you know. It was a, the first time joke of that nature. And it's not surprising that I didn't get it, you know. And that would be completely normal if you didn't get some joke, if it was said to you for the first time, the second time, you will understand it, you know, but probably there won't be no second time, because that person would probably never make j <laughs> jokes about that to you, because they would have an opinion formed as if you're incapable of getting that joke or whatever, which is another topic, it's a video for another day, you know, it's not actually, there's no need for a video, because I've already written an article about that, and you may want to check it out here. It's about others making assumptions about your English skills just because you you don't understand something, and then they think that your general level of English is bad, but it's not the case at all, you know. Your English might be just fine, it's just that you don't understand one sentence, or you might uh, get a couple of words from that person's conversation, what they're saying, you know, then you clearly show that uh, you don't, you didn't get that particular bit, that sentence, and that person extrapolates that on your whole, on your general English, and they think you're, you're just a beginner English student or whatever, and then they might slow down their speech, they might speak to you as if you were a child, they would use hand gestures and try to kind of accompany their speech with uh, very simple gestures explaining this or that particular thing and it's it comes across as very condescending you know but uh, you can't really blame that person because uh, more often than not that would probably come across other foreigners whose English is indeed very very simplistic and they would have to be explained things very in a very easy to understand manner but anyway today's advice, today's piece of advice to you, my dear foreigner, was that uh, whenever you don't understand something because it's not normally said to you, because it kind of jumps, jumps out of the overall, it's, it's not contextual, it's, it kind of doesn't belong to the overall flow of things, you know, it's something uh, weird and you don't get it for that reason, there's no need to freak out, there's no need to beat yourself over alleged bad English skills or whatever. Your English may be just fine, you know. Not may be, but your English is fine, it's just that on certain days your performance might be worse, it might be lagging behind your normal 
the ability to speak and deliver fluent speech, you know. But uh, just because you don't understand this or that particular joke or something that's said to you, in a way, you, you don't expect. Basically, it's something about you don't expect. It's, un it's unexpected. That person cannot really expect you to, to catch it, meaning to, to understand it uh, right off the bat immediately. You know, right off the bat is a, an English idiomatic expression. It's an idiom, to be more precise, which means right from the get-go, right from the start, just immediately, you know. And uh, it uh, has to be said, my dear friend, that even native speakers wouldn't understand the same thing if they were in your position. And I would uh, say with a, with a certainty of 99% that if it was my colleague walking into the office and my boss had said the same thing to him, he would have most definitely not understood what he means by that, you know. And I've witnessed similar situations on a regular basis, you know, that two native English speakers speak with each other and then one of them might say, something similar to what was said to me and the other one goes like cool sorry 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 I didn't get you whatever or they might have this awkward uh, situation where you can clearly see that they're not understanding each other you know but one of them might pretend to laugh about the joke or whatever you know but uh, it's it's obvious that he didn't actually get the joke and it doesn't necessarily have to be a joke it could be anything you know what was it I remember another occasion, a manager of another department in my work walked into my department and he says, he says something about, uh, he said something so, so unusual, he would never say normally, you know, he would, he would have never said it in another circumstance, he just said it for some reason or another and I didn't get him, you know, because those few words he said didn't make any sense. Like, I mean, I, I was trying to, obviously, it's a, at a subconscious level, whatever is said to you, you're trying to relate that to what you would have heard previously in your interactions with that particular person, you know, over a long period of time. And that sentence just didn't, uh, didn't register with me. And then I had to ask my colleague, I said, what did he say? And when I said those words, it was something so ridiculously, completely unrelated to what he would normally say that I didn't even, my, my brain wasn't attuned to, the, to hearing those words. It, I wasn't geared towards catching those words because those words would be never even said to me in that context. You know, I was trying to make something different out of that sentence, you know, and it by no means, by no means, it indicates uh, bad English skills. It's, it's just normal that when you are told something you don't completely expect, you know, it's totally sudden, unexpected, you might not understand it, and you, and uh, you may want to ask that person two or three times, sorry, can you repeat it a bit? slower or can you say it again or whatever and there is no need for embarrassment whatsoever you don't have to feel as a lesser person as a lesser being just because you're a foreigner and just because you didn't get it doesn't mean your english is bad it's all about all these uh, peculiarities of communication and you may as well just have been a native speaker and still you would run into the same difficulty understanding a person if he says something to you that is completely out of context and completely unexpected. So that's my advice to you. Don't freak out in such situations. Don't beat yourself over about the fact that you might not understand something that's said to you. Just uh, even if it ruins the joke, just ask a straight question. Can you say it again? Or sorry, I didn't understand. Can you say it again? Or whatever and uh, just accept the fact that it's natural, it happens, it happens to everyone, and you're just fine the way you are, being a foreigner. And uh, that's about it, my friend. Thanks for watching this video, and let me, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Bye-bye.